Yo, kids, what's up? Yeah, on TV, I'm going to show you a very old plugin. Probably the first time I see this plugin was like a, over 20 years ago. Yeah, it's that old. And it's the Sonox Oxygen Inflator. And believe it or not, this is the second weapon of a lot, I mean, a lot of mixed engineers, including me. So let's go to Protos and, and then I'm going to show you how it works. And trust me, super easy to use. Okay, so let's go. All right, so we are here in front of Protos as usual. And this is the plugin itself. Sonox. I mean, Sonox Oxygen Inflator. There is. <laughs> that's a, that. I mean, that's the right name. Okay, so as you see, it uh, looks kind of old. Actually, this is a new version because before they they would they was way more older. You know, the 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 what is his name? The GU, you know, the cover of the plugin, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a proper name for that. I totally forgot that about it right now, but let's see. Only four faders and three bottles, and, and trust me, that's the only, I mean, that's the only you need for, for get this right. So let's see. You have a mix. And your mix, you already put everything you have, you know, for example, your... EQ, your bass compressor, your saturation, and then tape saturation plugin, you know. And then it still doesn't feel right for you, doesn't, it's, it's, it's not finished yet. That's how this beautiful, boring, old plugin could save your day in the inflator, the Oxford inflator, I mean. So input, self-explanatory, output, self-explanatory so you have to pay attention only in the middle part okay effect and curve okay what is this let me let me see factory default okay actually the plugin started as is okay because i was playing with that before and yeah the effect is for example uh, ah and also this is pretty cool so if you let your mouse there it, it will tell you what the hell is doing you know which what what is the fader you know uh, purpose and yeah, so let's see. But let's put this in a very uh, easy way to everybody understand with easy words, okay? Effect. Effect is like, a, for example, effect is gonna, <laughs> as the name he says, it's gonna affect, <laughs> for example, the upper mid frequencies and a little bit of mm, mid lows on, and of course the mids too, but not in an awful way in a cool way okay and it's gonna make you uh, every stand up and be, be be more frontal and what is that for example could be the vocals could be the guitars could be the solos could be the overheads depends of the mix depends what kind of band and what kind of music you mixing of course Ugh. because for example in metal in underground metal and let's focus on right now in black metal, okay? Sometimes some black metal bands slash projects, they want the vocals more berry. So in those cases, when I use this, what is the most prominent in that in that specific mix? It's gonna be the guitars and, and, and overheads the solos. But what is this? Uh, is, it's a different kind of metal. They want to they want the, the vocals more prominent. It's gonna be the vocals. You know, so always keep in mind what kind of music you are you are you mixing and working because that area of the spectrum of your mix is when I stand up and be more frontal. Okay, so let's check it out. This oh, and also the band today is the same. It's one of my favorites, Night Hand. Um, oh, by the way, yes, two members of this band have another band. It's called. I pretty uh, I go. I I hope I wanna pronounce the name or the band uh, right. Redundant Proto Plums. <laughs> uh, we did like a two. I pretty sure two. I don't remember. Yeah, we did two projects, one album and one EP. But that is grindcore. It's totally, totally different than this one. So if you like grindcore, very ignorant. I recommend that one. And actually, I make a video about the first time we worked together. It's an old video, so you can check it out. I'm going to share the link here. And also remember, uh, this channel is not monetized yet, so I can monetize and make a little more money and help to pay my tasks and also to buy more cat food for my little cats with the help of you. That's it. It's only you will help me to get extra little cash in my pockets. Okay? 
And yeah, so like I said, it's not monetized yet. So so you can help me with your subscribe. I mean, with your su subscription, with your thumbs up. Even even if you don't like it, that will help me with the algorithm and also comment too. And if you see, feel, and also thinking these videos gonna be cool for other friends, share it too. Okay, so that's gonna help me a lot for real. And yeah, and another and another way to help me is to check it out. Uh, for example, the baby auto plugins. Uh, I already review almost all the plugins except for the last one because I don't play synths. Yeah, it's a synth plugin. I don't very good at synths, so that's the reason I didn't uh, review the plugin yet. But I hope, I mean, I think I'm going to review it. So you can go to my link downside, I mean, down there, and you can buy it, you know. Right now they are they have this summer sale, okay? So, uh, so we'll just yeah, because that link is not because you are gonna buy those plugins for me. No, you're going to plan. I mean, you're going to buy those plugins for them. But if you use my link, some percentages go to my pockets, okay? So you want to help me when in one two ways or or or, or in both. So th thank you so much in advance. So let's see. So effect, remember. The the word is more prominent in the mix, which is could be the guitars, vocals, solos, overheads. It's gonna be up and up front. Let's check out this. Okay, so let's see. Right? Right pass. Now, now we have the vocals. Now. Up in your face. Okay, so do you feel it, right? Of course, you have to listen to this in a proper uh, pair of headphones or in a proper uh, monitors because if not, you will not realize what the hell this plugin is doing. But yeah, so like I told you, in that range of frequencies, it's going to stand up and be more in front of you, which is making it sound... In other words, oh, that's what's cool. That's that's what's better. Of course, that's what's better. But be careful because I hear and read in some comments, in some forums, like, oh, yeah, I always do like a 100%. Be careful because this is going to destroy your mix. Remember, we only listen this guy in the master bus, you know? Because when, for example, me, now I have these toys. When I do, I mean, when when I'm work, I mean, when I work it in my master bath with these toys plus the plugins, if you put 100%, I'm gonna to destroy it. So be careful because this, this this will fool you. Okay, I always use it around this area, to here, to here, my max here. In some cases here, you know, but yeah, it's around here, you know. So just be careful. Okay, so curve. What the hell if is the curve? The curve, you know. The same curve is is the all the bottom. <laughs> I don't want to go in that territory, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna make it warm. So I, I mean, this is gonna sound a little warmer, and it's gonna focus more in the low end, but in a good way. It's not gonna be boominess. It's gonna be too muddy, but it's gonna be cool in awesome way. It's like a, when you use this too. It's like you making this smile in your in your EQ. For example, less meets more high and low. It's like that, okay? So it's pretty much that. So it's no EQ. It's like you emphasis. It's like you add more harmonics. You know, the second, and third, and even the fifth harmonic in those areas. And yeah, so let's put this here. And then I'm going to put all until here, until 50, and then you will see. Okay, so one more time. My 
Bye Pass. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. That sounds more beefy. The same flavor. Skinny. Buff. Let's play this together, okay? More effect. Now let's see how these two sounds at max, okay? Of course, this is super exaggerated. I never use this playing assist. Be careful, but in that way you can realize what the plugin is too, okay? Sounds huge. Asteroids. No asteroids. Asteroids. of this okay now uh, is the band split what is a band split for example it's like a well here's a, like a, let me see the function in software to additional mode the band splitting is, is select is the process in a split into the into three frequencies bands avoid into loop distortion okay what does that mean like a true or false when I add more the curve all the low frequencies start to add more harmonics, right? But what happens, for example, if you have a uh, doom, super doom, bassy, dead metal band, or you're working in, I don't know, R&B, or hip hop, very bassy, or in a trance, or any electronic music with a lot of prominent low end information. When you add a curve, it's going to be like a, like a, you, as you listen, it's gonna add more harmonics in that area, but even, but when I put a split, you know, it's gonna be turned yellow, those is gonna be more device. So it's tend to do the overall, it's gonna to add in a different way. So to be more clear for you, it's gonna sound more clear. <laughs> <laughs> so the low end is no we muddy is gonna be bigger but in a clear way. So let me put this here or the curve. I mean, I mean the everything and then I want to split this. Okay, so check it out. Remember that's all these two and max and check it out. But may but focus on the low end split. Right? Sounds like a little more cleaner. Right pass. Pass zero. I mean my pass. Split. Right pass. That's it, that's it, I mean, that's the only thing you need to know and learn about this plugin because the rest is effect probably is, this is effect in, which is a bypass, the clip, you know, clip, and yeah, clip as zero dB, and yeah, output, you know, self, self-explanatory, and if you're asking, okay, okay, but how do you really use this? Like I said, you know, uh, the effect is gonna be around here, curve, when it, when it's too, I mean, for example, if, the band, the project, the my mix is too busy. I mean, too bassy. I, I just a little bit, maybe here, sometimes here. That depends. But it's always just a little bit of touch because this is like a extra seasoning, for example. This is like an extra little bit of salt or extra little bit of spicy sauce, just to spice a little bit everything. Okay, so that's the reason this is a secret weapon because. It's not very prominent, like uh, for example, a tape emulator 
or the fusion or EQ. It's just a bit, just a little bit. And then that's the reason everybody said this is the, the secret weapon of so many Indian, engineers out there. So, and that's all for today. I hope you really like, enjoy this, and learn something. And don't forget to give me a like, to subscribe, to share this, to comment, and even the thumbs down because you are the only one to help me to monetize this little stupid channel. And that's all for today. Bye, guys. See ya.